Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, I know it's like super late to be posting a setting up a new bullet journal video, but I got a bullet journal for Christmas and this is, as you can tell from the title, <laughs> me setting up my new 2021 bullet journal. This is my first year bullet journaling, so I'm not very good at it yet, but I really hope that I get better at it. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get right into the setting up my bullet journal and my January plan with me. So this is my bullet journal. I opened it up and wrote my name and I wrote it in pencil first so I wouldn't mess up. Then I wrote out the key. As you can see, um, my key has tasks and what they look like when they're completed, rescheduled, canceled, and then I also have priority for tasks I need to get done like right away, and then a little circle for events. So this here is my focus kind of for the year. I decided to do the serenity prayer because that's something that I think would be a great focus for 2021. Um, it says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. And I think for 2021, there's going to be a lot of things that I have to learn to accept, just like in 2020. And so I thought that would be the perfect focus for this year. And then at the end, I decided to fill in God with black, just because I thought it looked a little bit empty. So that's what I did. <laughs> On to the next page, this is my 2021 um, goals and accomplishments that I wrote here. I ended up writing the goals and accomplishments title at the end afterwards. <laughs> um, and for the goals, it was just like resolutions that I have for this year. And accomplishments is anytime I get something done this year, that I would write it down so I can keep track of all the things I've accomplished this year. Moving on, this is my grid spacing guide. I got the idea from the queen of bullet journaling herself, Amanda Rachley. This guide is just to help me when I'm splitting up my weekly or any spreads, really. This page here is my senior summer bucket list, which is just a list of things that I want to do this summer before my senior year starts. And I decided to decorate it in yellow because that's summer colors. <laughs> and I also put butterfly stickers in the corner because I thought they looked cute. Also, if you see lines popping up, that's because I would put it in pencil first and then I overlined it with my micron pens. This next spread here is my future log for 2021. As you can see, I'm just separating it for all of the months. And I didn't write out the numbers, I just decided to write down events and I would write the date of that month when those events were happening. And for this bullet journal year, I decided to go with like a light gray and light brown color scheme because I want it to be very like neutral entering this year with neutral vibes. <laughs> this spread here, this is my gift ideas spread. 
it's just a place for me to write ideas for gifts for birthdays and Christmas um, for my friends and family. And this spread here is a books I've read spread and it's I designed it like a bookshelf and every time I read a book I'm going to write the title of the book on one of these books here on the shelf and then I'm going to color it in and then hopefully I'll have read I think there's 36 books on this I don't know if I'll be able to read that many this year but I hope so um, I also got this idea from Amanda Rachel. also for some reason my camera stopped recording here so I'm just gonna show you what I did while my camera stopped <laughs> I have this books I've read. I did a year in Polaroids, so every month I'll just put Polaroid for my favorite memory. And then I also started on this verse for the month, which is Isaiah 40, 31. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not grow weary. They will walk and not be faint. And that's also what I wanted my focus for this month to be. And then here I misspelled January in my calligraphy, so I colored it in instead, and it kind of looked like a potato, so I <laughs> outlined it and tried my best to make it not look like a potato. <laughs> and I also made sure to spell January correctly without forgetting the R. <laughs> and I added a bunch of washi tape all around too. This month I wanted to be pretty neutral, just like the rest of it so far. You know, creep into 2021 without disturbing anything <laughs> hopefully it will be much better than last year we just have to stay quiet and not do anything <laughs> and since there was a little bit of space underneath i added 2021 just to make it look more cohesive <laughs> this is my january month calendar i guess <laughs> Uh, I have events and goals on the side, and then I have these boxes for all of the days of the month. Afterwards, I decided to do a drop shadow with the brown and gray behind the boxes. I don't have that recorded, but I did do that afterwards. <laughs> And then here I'm just numbering all of the boxes. This is my habit and mood tracker. For my habit tracker, I just wrote down 31 days for January. And for all of my habits, I'm just gonna color in the box that the number is in each day that I do it. And for my mood tracker, I just did this circle with little wedges for each day. And underneath I did the color codes for what color I will color the wedges depending on my mood. These spreads here are my gratitude and prayer list. So for my gratitude, whenever I'm feeling grateful for something, I write it down here. And for my prayer list, it's just a list of things to pray for so that I don't forget and for praying for my friends and family. And I just write it down here as well. And then I decorated it with a little bit of washi tape so it wasn't so bland and boring. <laughs> And then the last spread for this month is my weekly spread. I just did a simple rectangular boxes for each day. And then in the corner, the bottom right hand corner, I made a box for the goals that I have to get done that I don't have a specific time or day to do them, just sometime this week.
And that's it for my bullet journal setup. And here's the flip through of what it looks like so far. Thanks so much for watching guys, um, I hope you enjoyed, let me know in the comments down below what your favorite spread was, and also any video ideas that you'd like to see me make in the future, I know this is a little bit of a different video than I normally post, but I hope you guys like it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at jasminthewaffle, don't forget to love yourself, love others, and above all, love God, bye guys!